Welcome, friends, Last Caffeine. It's time for the Phoenix Red Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations Voice LP. So, let's get started. Beep. Double checking this looks right. Okay, looks right. Turn about memories, number one. Okay, here we go. Huff. Huff. Ugh. How did I get into this mess? Oh. oh okay, it's someone else. Not Phoenix talking. Why? Why did I do that? That girl. You shouldn't see her anymore. Hey, it's none of your business. Okay, Green's the other guy. Okay. I'm telling you for your sake. If you continue to see her, it's going to be bad news. Y you're lying. Just listen to me. There's something you sh need to know about her. About that girl. Stop it! Don't talk about her like that! And he killed him. <laughs> what? 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 It, it wasn't me! I, I didn't... <laughs> what? I didn't do it! What is this about? Five years earlier, Mia Fey, second trial. Are we gonna be Mia Fey in this one? April 11th, 9.40 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Phew, it's finally time. I'm kinda nervous. Ahem! Oh, 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 oh! Reinhardt! Ahem! Oh! Mr. Cosberg, good morning! Huh. Mia, please calm yourself down. <laughs> ah, Reinhardt, you're going to get yourself arrested for suspicious behavior, you know. What are you talking about? I am relaxed, Mr. Grasberg. Look at me, I'm relaxed. <laughs> Let go of my lapels. <laughs> you obviously haven't got the temperament to be a lawyer. I, mm, I'm so sorry. It's just that I'm so nervous today. Oh, that's right. This is your first time in the big leagues, isn't it? Well, never you fear, my dear. I, Marvin Grasberg, am at your service. Um, actually, this is my second time in court. Still, you surprised me. What with your earnest request last night? Let me handle this case, you suddenly said. And quite forcefully, too. Checking. Here we are. I just found out yesterday about the case, I mean. What? And you've already learned all the relevant facts? Well, about that, you see, I mean, of course I have, I think. Oh dear. In any case, don't let our client see you're so nervous. You see the poor young man in the pink sweater over there? That's our client. Breaking Phoenix? Good morning there, everyone. Everybody. Good morning. Try to keep a sm keep smiling, Mia. You're telling me! You're trying to tell me! That before Phoenix became... Ace Attorney, he got involved in a murder case. And Mia saves him? And no point in 1 and 2 makes you think that happened. But okay. I, uh, I just want to say, I'll give it my all. I'll give it all I've got. Yep, it'll be fine, no problem. <laughs> what? Oh, what's wrong? Do you have a cold or something, Mr. Rye? Actually, it's right. Like the Flying Brothers. People screw it up all the time. And yes, I have a cold. That's what this mask is for. My doc says this way I won't give it to anyone else. Be kind to others, he says. Right, Mr. Wright. You have nothing to fear in court today. If you are truly innocent, I promise I will save you. <laughs> but, but please let go of my shirt. Ha! <laughs> Tough. That's right. He's the one on the trial, not you. He's the one who should be nervous. 
You need to stay strong for your client, Mia. My name is Mia Fei. I'm still pretty new at this lawyer thing. The first time I appeared in court was a year ago. Didn't she become a legend? But that trial tra traumatized me so badly I thought I'd never set foot in another courtroom. It's been one year since then, and well, here I am again. But this time... This time I'll win. She better, or else there's a time paradox! For my client, and for myself. April 11th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number two. Is this gonna be- Yes, the judge! Ah, here we go. Court is now in session for the trial of Phoenix Knight. The defense is ready, Your Honor. <laughs> He's got a Kuwabara! He's got a Kuwabara! Best here! The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense today is Miss... Miss Mia Fey, was it? Y yes Your Honor. Is there a problem? I was under the impression that Marvin Grosberg was to be leading the defense. Yes, well, you see... Mr. Grosberg had a, a bit of an emergency. Emergency? But isn't that him standing right there next to you? <laughs> um... Yes, well... You're really bad at lying. You, you're just a rookie. Are you sure you can really handle this? Don't let him scare you, Mia. Give him your toughest look. Of course, Your Honor. I think. Hmm. Well, Mr. Payne, your opening statement, please. Well, well, well. I can't believe a veteran like me has to spend his time babysitting a new defense lawyer. Hmm? Don't worry, little girl. It'll be all over soon. What was that all about? Was he trying to trash talk me? Now then, I'd like to proceed with a summary of events on the day in question. The incident occurred on the campus of Ivy College University. Ivy University! Ivy College. The... Doug Swallow? Doug Swallow. Uh, the murder victim was a student named Doug Swallow. Doug Swallow? I don't even know. He was a fourth year student studying pharmacology. Hmm, it sounds like he was a very bright young man. Yes, well, next we have a photo taken at the scene of the crime. He's hella dead. Students discovered the seed shortly after the murder. They found the victim's body. And the defendant, who had obviously bungled his getaway. They then called the police. Drug swallow. Oh. Get it now. Hmm, that certainly makes the defendant look very suspicious indeed. Very well. The court accepts this photo into the record as evidence. Crime photo added to courtroom number, record number one. By the way, I can't quite tell the cause of death from this photo. <laughs> your reputation f for sagacity is well earned, Your Honor. What's sag sagacity, guys? The truth is that this victim died from an unu rather unusual death. An unusual death? What do you mean, Mr. Payne? Well, uh, perhaps the defense would like to take his question. Huh? A simple question. I thought I might loosen you up a bit. I am a genteel man, if you will. Um, a what? Stand up to him, Mia. Show him what you're made of. Oh, a perfect opportunity. Why not? Well, what is it? What was it? The cause. Go on. Please say you know at least this much. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't get a chance to read through the whole file. Ugh, my hemorrhoids are beginning to act up. Now see here. The details of the case are filed under the court record. But you knew that already, didn't you? Ah, the court record. I think I can see that by touching the court record button. Beep. Oh, is it her badge?
3 p.m. cause of death was a fatal electric shock from the umbrella, I assume. The crime scene. So he hit the umbrella on the power line and he died. How does Phoenix have to deal with that? All of the weapons we need can be found in the court record. Take a good, hard look at the data there and think carefully before you answer, my dear. Y yes sir, I'll do just that. I've got to stay calm. I can't let that prosecutor get the better of me. The court record? Okay, let's take a look. I just touched the court record button here. Now then, would the attorney for that defense please answer the question? What was the cause of death? Execution. According to the court record, it was a fatal electric shock. In other words, electrocution. Electrocution? Hmm. But how could such a thing happen? Did the murderer use some type of new, super-powerful stun gun, perhaps? The answer to that will become crystal clear as the trial proceeds, Your Honor. But before that, there's one more vital issue. W what's that? Why, motive, of course. Apparently, there was some bad blood between the victim and the defendant. Bad blood? W what do you mean? Oopsie, I'm terribly sorry. You're the defense attorney, so you must know all about it. I shouldn't be stealing your spotlight like this. I really don't like this guy's smug attitude. That's Winston Payne for you. <laughs> he is one smooth operator, if you catch my drift. They don't call him the rookie killer for nothing, you know. Now then, let's hear from the defense. What was the source of the bad blood between the victim and the defendant? And this time I would like to see some supporting evidence. E evidence Why not? Ah, oh, no need to get all worked up over that. As I said, all our weapons can be found in the court record. Find the evidence you need, and then shove it into old Greybeard's face. Y yes sir into old Greybeard's face. Uh, Mr. Glosberg, try to set a better example for the young lady. Mia, evidence isn't the only thing in the court record. People's profiles are as well. You can toggle between profiles and evidence, so be sure to go over it as all. Now then, let's see what you've got. What was the cause of the bad blood between Phoenix Wright and the victim? Profile! My superior in the head, the Grasberg Law Offices. My client, a third-year art student at Ivy University. He currently has a cold. Art student? How does he become a law dude? The victim. He was a fourth-year pharmacology student at Ivy University. Dahlia Hawthorne. Phoenix Wright's girlfriend. Dated the victim, Doug Swallow, up until eight months ago. Dahlia Hawthorne. Just a name. That hair is a trip. Like, look at that hair. Like, that's braids, right? Like, wow. The prosecutor for this trial, a veteran lawyer with a little too much confidence. Boop. That. That's her voice? Holy crap, I, th I thought it would be more adult than that. More mature. The reason for the bad blood between the two of them was this woman here. Dahlia Hawthorne, is it? Pretty good, Miss Vey. You seem to have picked up on that at least this much. I'm messing up the lines. This woman is the girlfriend of the defendant, Phoenix Wright. But up until eight months ago, she was with the victim, Mr. Swallow. Clearly, she has some part to play in this story. Hmm. Ah, oh, he's done it again. Before the cross-examination starts, he's already got the judge thinking like he wants. Very well, Mr. Payne. Please call your first witness. If it pleases the court, the prosecution would like to call Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? The defendant himself? Well, Miss Fay? It's fine. After all, Mr. Wright is innocent, right? Defen the defense has no objection. Very well. The court calls Mr. Phoenix Wright to the witness stand.
goodness! Please state your name and occupation. Oh, uh, yes. My name is Phoenix Wright. My job is, um, well, right now I guess I'm a suspect. No, no, he means what did you do before you were arrested? Oh, achoo! Achoo, achoo! I was a university student. Mr. Wright? You understand that you are suspected, suspected in the death of your fellow student, Doug Swallow. But, but I didn't do it. I'm innocent, I tell you. I'm telling you, I was a true... <laughs> cough. Cough at you, you cough. Okay. But the defendant, please refrain from passing on his cold to the rest of us. It seems the witness has something he wants to say. Hmm. Well then, Mr. Knight. Please tell us about your relation to the victim. Right away, Your Honor. Victim and I. Um, I... I admit I was there. But I'm not a killer. All I did was find his body. I hardly knew the guy to begin with. I never even talked to that stuck-up British wannabe. Well, Phoenix, you're lying. Hmm, I see. So you hardly knew the victim. Right. Like I said, I'm not a killer. Ooh, it looks like the judge understands. Hmm. You're being naive, you know. Too naive. Huh? <laughs> It seems that you've forgotten one small thing, young lady. And that would be... This witness still has to undergo something called cross-examination. Cross-examination? He's right. And it's the defense's duty to carry out the cross-examination. The purpose is to determine if the witness's testimony contains any contradictions. Contradictions? If a witness is lying, the statements will conflict with the court record. But Mr. Wright is my client. Even if he is your client, in court all lies must be struck down. As a lawyer, that is your duty, you see. What does he mean by that? Is he saying the testimony just now? That there was a lie, a contradiction? Now then, your cross-examination, if you please, Miss Fay. Please, Mr. Wright. Tell me you haven't been lying. That's the face of a liar! You wouldn't do that to me, would you? Why would she make him part of her firm? Her very firm firm. Victim and I. Hold it! Hold it! When you say there, you mean the place where the victim was murdered? Y yeah sort of. Uh, the place where something happened, anyway. Objection! Objection! For something? You can't hide what happened! We have photographic evidence! Achoo! Achoo, 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 achoo! Uh, anyway, Mr. Wright, what were you doing at the scene of the crime? I thought you said you didn't know the victim, Mr. Swallow. It was just a coincidence. We bumped into each other by accident. A coincidence? A coincidence, huh? Next! You say you found the body. So who called the police? Huh? Um... <laughs> God, sneeze, okay, all those things. Unfortunately, it was some other student that notified the police. Other students? That's correct! They were witnesses. Witnesses who saw the defendant standing there next to the body in shock. Well, what? Is this true, Mr. Wright? Did you stop sneezing every time you're in a bind? Well, it's true that I was pretty shocked when I found the body. But, but I... Hmm? So you didn't know his face, or even his name, right? Right! Um, well, no. That is, I mean... So, which is it? Did you know him or not? Achoo! Achoo, achoo! Now see here, you can't avoid answering the question by sneezing all day. Uh, um, well... I guess I did know his name. N news to me? Why didn't he tell me that before? Um, I heard he used a date dolly. 
Who is this Dolly person? Ah, yes, that would be the defendant's lover, Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. Oh, I see. Ah, young love. So bittersweet. But that's all I knew about him. Mr. Wright, you stated the following in your statement. Testimony, I hardly knew the guy to begin with. Th that's right, I mean, why would I even... But that doesn't sound right. If you hardly knew him, then why would you say that your victim was a stuck-up British wannabe? Uh... Hmm? Uh... Achoo! <laughs> well, Mr. Wright? Ah, no, it wasn't me. I'm not the killer, I swear! Mr. Knight, I will give you an opportunity to revise your testimony. How is it that you knew the victim was, as you put it, a British wannabe? Y yes well uh... He was always walking around with a huge Union Jack on the back of his shirt. Did you see it at the crime scene? The Union Jack, I mean? Y yes that's right, I saw it at the crime scene. That's why, that's why I figured he must love British stuff, you see? It's true, cross my heart! I swear I didn't do it! He's acting fishier than a salmon I ate last night. May I ask you something, Miss Fay? Y yes Your Honor. What is it now? Who is this person anyway? This Union Jack fellow? Your Honor... Uh... The Union Jack is the name of the flag of England! Oh, I see. They mean like the Stars and Stripes, right? As usual, Your Honor, your insight astounds me. Hey, something just occurred to me. Isn't there something strange about this bit just now? And I not. Mia, there's a contradiction here. But Miss, Mr. Grosberg? Quickly now, show that boy you mean business. With evidence, I mean. Okay, Mia, check the court record carefully. Well, my dear, do you think you can manage on your own at this point? I can handle it myself. One year ago, I was in the courtroom just like this. I can do it. I can handle this myself. Hmm. You mustn't try to bite off more than you can chew, Mia. I I'll be a fine. I know what I have to do. Remember, you can always press him to get more information. Oh, and one more thing. When you're going to state a contradiction, make sure you present some definitive proof. Okay, Mia, one more time. From the very beginning of his testimony. What do I got? Okay. Um, I admit I was there. But I'm not a killer. All I did was find his body. I hardly knew the guy they'd be in with. I never even talked to that stuck-up British wannabe. He was always walking around with a huge Union back on his J Union Jack on his back of his shirt. I need some help! <clears throat> um, Mr. Grosberg, I could use a little help. Ah, <laughs> please don't look so sad. It brings a tear to my eye when you do. Alright, listen carefully. By comparing the testimony to the court record, you should be able to discover any contradictions if there are any. And when you found one... I present the piece of evidence that contradicts the witness's testimony. Yes, that's the ticket. But still, I don't see any contradictions in Mr. Wright's testimony. Hmm, maybe you don't have enough information yet. Information? You can press for more information by leaning on the, a witness. Even if they're my own client? It doesn't matter who it is. If you think they're lying, press them in like a cheap shoot. Press them like a cheap suit. That is the obligation of an attorney. Okay, Mia, one more time. Okay, here we go. 
Press! Oh, that's new! He's okay, Phoenix saying there's something there. You can't hide what happened. We have a photographic evidence. Uh, anyway, Mr. Wright, what were you doing at the scene of the crime? I thought you said you didn't know the victim, Mr. Swallow. It was just a coincidence. We bumped into each other by accident. A coincidence, huh? Okay, let's just go back real quick so we get the lines I missed. When you say there, you mean the place where the victim was murdered? Yeah, yeah, sort of. The place where something happened anyway. Okay, so there we go. The place where something happened anyway. Okay. Press again! You say you found the body, so who called the police? Huh? Um, okay, okay, we did this before. Different student. Why is the power line and the thing not in that shot, right? Okay, we saw this before. Next one. So you didn't know his face or even his... Okay, we got that before. We got all this before. But we got all this before. Okay, so... Next one! I even talk to him, press. That's right, you stated the following in your testimony. I hardly knew the guy to begin with. Th that's right, I mean, I mean, why would I even... But that doesn't sound right. If you hardly knew him, then why would you say... Okay, okay, we did this before, okay. No! Oh, ah, crap, I went too far. Want to check that last one. Okay, go back, go back. Oh crap, there were new words! It was Grossberg telling her that we found the contradiction. Okay, so what the hell's the contradiction? I don't know what it is. Okay, here we go. Save here. Okay, so... I think it's here? There it is, yep. Are you certain you saw the Union Jack? Y yeah I'm sure. It was right there on his back. Miss Faye, is there some point to this line of questioning? Your Honor, please take another look at the crime scene photo. It's not on his back. As you can see, there's absolutely nothing written on the victim's back. H hey, wait a minute! He's wearing a leather jacket! The Union Jack was on the back of the t-shirt he was wearing! I was under the impression that you accidentally came across the body. But if that was really the case, then you wouldn't know that, would you? You'd have no idea at all what he was wearing underneath that jacket! This is her music? Mr. Wright? You've been lying to me! How does he get hired later? Oh, please forgive me! <laughs> Phoenix? <laughs> oh god! Why not? You've made Mia! You've made our client cry! Let him. That P on his chest doesn't stand for Phoenix anyway. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Sick burn! Oh my god! Oh my god! Wow! Damn, Mia! I wish you weren't dead! I can't believe I trusted him! Mr. Wright was all wrong! <laughs> That was an impressive bit of cross-examination! Hmm? Thank you for uncovering your defendant's lies for me! It's quite clear that this man did not simply stumble upon the scene of the crime! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Did I go too far? By the way, Mr. Wright, you seem to have a rather bad cold. Have you taken any medicine for it? I, uh, um... Yeah, I took some, but... Was the medicine that you took an over-the-counter brand? Called a cold kill X? Yeah, that's right. It kills colds good. Hey, wait a second. 
How did you know I'm a big fan of Cold Killer X? It's also a really good metal band. <laughs> Would you happen to have that medicine with you right now? Well, actually, it seems I... I seem to have lost it somewhere. He lost it? Does this even have anything to do with the case? Uh-oh! Mr. Eight! Shall I tell you where your cold medicine is right now? Huh? Your Honor, I'd like you to take a look at another photo from the crime scene. Why is he holding the cold medicine? What's this? In the victim's hand, it's... It's Cold Killer X! Attention! Y yes but even I've got a bottle of Cold Killer X in my apartment. Attention! I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that argument won't work. There's no doubt as to who this bottle of Cold Killer X belonged to. Especially since Mr. Wright's fingerprints were all over it. What? Uh-oh. Sensing his murderous intent, Mr. Swallow must have picked up the pill bottle of medicine. He dropped by Mr. Wright and hid it in his hand. His purpose in doing so can only have been to identify his killer as Felix Wright. But alls. Order. Order in the court. Your Honor, I'd like to present this photo and bottle as evidence. Very well. The court will accept them to the court record. Crime photo number two. Cold Killer X added to the court record. Also, the victim's wristwatch was broken. Broken? Yes, it ceased functioning when a large wave of electricity passed through it. Well, Mr. Knight, do you have some kind of explanation for all of this? Uh... This is really bad. Oh, my buttocks! My poor, poor hemorrhoids! Oh my god! Wow, we're going to have our... What really happened? Talking about his roids in court. The truth is, I went because he called me. He was in the pharmacology department, so we agreed to meet at 245 behind that building. We talked for a bit, and then at around 3, we split up. Then later, when I went back, I found him lying there. I've been taking Cold Killer X for the last two or three days. I lost my bottle of it around lunchtime on the day of the accident. Mr. Knight, that's completely different than the testimony you gave previously. Achoo! Uh, I'm sorry, Your Honor. I was afraid you wouldn't believe the truth. You'll forgive me if I say I hardly find your current testimony any more credible. Hmm, Miss Fay, please begin your cross-examination. Oh, please, Mr. Wright. Don't tell any more lies. Phoenix Wright keeps lying. I'm gonna check the evidence. Alright, bring to his fingerprints. Check the detail. The clock says it is three. 305 or 310 right there. I'd say 305. So when was he killed? He was killed at 3. Okay, so alright, so that lines up. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Press. Had you ever met the victim before then? No, never! But... That day, he called me up and told me he wanted to talk about Dolly. And this Dolly person is... My, um... It's kind of embarrassing. She's my, uh... Sweetheart. Ooh! <laughs> what? What was that for, Mia? Oh, I'm so sorry. I just felt like slapping something all of a sudden. Why? Why? <laughs> Dahlia Hawthorne was also the love of the murder victim, Doug Swallow. Before she met Mr. Wright, that is. Hmm. What does one of those nasty love triangles I see? Hold 
Was it Mr. Swallow who indicated you should meet at 2.45? Yeah, and we were both there right on time. Hmm, you said the victim was in the pharmacology department, correct? Yeah, he was studying how to manufacture and improve pharmaceuticals. Everyone called him the Alchemist of IVU. An Alchemist? Hmm, I see. I gotta admit, it was a little suspicious. He had a whole laboratory and everything! It was filled with chemicals and strange machines that run on high voltage electricity. Oh, oh how fascinating. He sounds like he was quite an ambitious young man. What do I do? Maybe I should ask him for something in more details. Time of the meeting. So you're absolutely certain that you met at 2.45? Yeah, pretty sure. That's the time class ends. But they're always doing experiments, so it doesn't matter much. Experiments? Yeah, those pharmacology guys are always in the lab whipping up something. Well, it looks like he's right about the time anyway. Witness, let's go on with the testimony. Go back, go back, go back. I'm gonna ask about the other thing. Was it Mr. Swallow who indicated you should meet at 2.45? Yeah, we were both- okay, okay. Go click, 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 click. That's about the pharmacology department. I was wondering if you could tell us a bit more about the pharmacology department. Well, okay, sure. I don't know all that much, though. A little bit earlier in your testimony, you said something interesting. You said the department uses strange machines that run on high-voltage electricity. That's right, and they sure li look dangerous. They use non-standard voltages, so there are high-voltage cables everywhere. High-voltage cables? Yeah, there were electrical uh, poles set up all around the building. The high-voltage cables run overhead around the roof. Finally, I think we're getting somewhere. So what was it you were talking about? You know, uh, that maybe we should hang out some again sometime. Uh, sure. Hang out again sometime? I wish they were true. If Phoenix is lying about that, how do we catch him on that? We know this is a lie. Okay, let's catch him on Dahlia, maybe? <laughs> yeah, let's reread that really quick. Hold a second. Does this evidence establish that the defendant is lying? D don't ask me. You're the one who's supposed to know. Oops, sorry. This is all still kind of new to me. Well, I've got something new for you, too. A new penalty. Objection overruled. This isn't going as smoothly as I had hoped. Uh, okay, it's here. Whoops, I already did that. Phoenix? No, nope, alright, so we know he's lying, but we got nothing to prove it yet? Okay. So what was it you were talking about? Oh, okay, we already did that, right? Okay, keep going. Next part, right here. So you say you went back? Um, yeah, that's when I found the body. Yes, but why did you go back in the first place? Weren't you angry with him? Well, that's right, I was. Then why, Mr. Phoenix, Mr. Wright? Why did you go back there? Um, I thought maybe we could make up. Judging by the atmosphere, I'm pretty sure no one is buying this. Press. It's rather unusual to catch a cold this time of the year, isn't it? Yeah, I always get a little careless when the weather starts to warm up. I guess I shouldn't sleep with the window open this early in spring, huh? 
I suppose common sense is not always common. So, did anyone else know that you were taking cold medicine? Well, I always took one after meals. I'm pretty sure all my friends knew about it. Okay, that was useless. On the day of the incident, what did you do for lunch? Huh? What does that have to do with anything? You can never be too sure. I always eat with Dolly, just the two of us. Uh, Dolly's homemade lunches are just the greatest. Mmm, her mini omelets are magically delicious. <laughs> Ouch, why did you punch me in the jaw? Oh, I I'm so sorry. I just felt like hurting someone all of a sudden. Does Mia randomly have a thing for Phoenix for some reason? Is there just an energy in the air that requires her and Phoenix to get together? But then she dies, so... With the power of Maya, she gets back with him? I don't understand why she's so angry. I think that's enough for now. The defendant and the victim met at approximately the time of his death. And then the defendant returned to the scene for some unknown reason. I'm not entirely convinced by his explanation about the medicine bottle either. Dolly killed him and put the bo bottle in his hand? Let me be frank here, Mr. Knight. Your testimony cannot be trusted. W what do you mean? <laughs> I knew it was too much work for a little girl. <clears throat> However, there is one mystery that still remains. There is, Your Honor? How the murder was carried out, of course. Just how was the victim electrocuted? I don't believe the murder weapon has been produced yet. Correct? Well, that is, uh, uh, you are correct, Your Honor. So how exactly was Mr. Swallow killed? If I could somehow establish how it was done. Maybe I could still come out of this mess smelling like a rose. We don't have the umbrella, but let's see if we can do anything. Your Honor. Y yes, Mr. Miss Faye. I believe that if we were to piece together everything we've heard up until now, we should be able to solve the mystery of how Mr. Swallow died. Th that would be most impressive. <laughs> Quite the brash statement coming from her rookie. But even a beginner like you must understand the basic rules of the courts, yes? The attorney must be able to substantiate the arguments with evidence. Hmm, <clears throat> of course I know that. Actually, I had totally forgotten about that. Now then, Miss Fay, let me see what you've got. Show me how you believe the victim was electrocuted. Hope this works. Present. As for the cause of death, I'd say this picture captures it quite well. What? What? But there's nothing that even remotely resembles a murder weapon here. Hmm, I'm afraid the defense is going to have to explain this in a bit more detail. Miss Faye, where exactly is the f in the photos the murder weapon? It's either that or the umbrella. Let's just point there for now. Well, naturally, it's right here. That's... that's... What is that? A severed electrical cable, I believe, Your Honor. Remember the testimony we've heard. The machines the pharmacology students use in their high experiments... I mean, the experiments require higher voltage. And because of that, there are special high-voltage cables strung up everywhere. So then the high-voltage cable... Yes, the high-voltage cable is the cause of the death. That is the most likely explanation. Hmm, that certainly sounds plausible. Well, Mr. Payne, what do you have to say about that? Well, I believe some praise is in order. Don't toy with me, old man. Now, now, the victim's cause of death may indeed have been high voltage cables. However, I want you to think about what really implies. I want you to think about what that really implies. 
the only one who had the opportunity to use the cable as a murder weapon was... The defendant! Don't you? Hmm, that much is certainly true. Yes, and that's not all. We have proof. Irrefutable proof that the that will establish Mr. Wright was the murderer. Y you do? Well, what is it? His fingerprints. Fingerprints? You mean that the defendant's fingerprints were on something besides the medicine bottle? Let's take another look at the crime scene photo. As you can see, the victim is wearing a leather jacket. And as you may know, leather has holds fingerprints quite well. Ah, y you mean... Yes, it was quite clearly imprinted on the chest area of the victim's jacket. The palm print of the defendant's very own hand. But what? I can only think of one way Mr. Wright could have left a print like that. Intent on murder, he squarely pushed the victim towards the severed electrical cable. What severed the cable in the first place? Order, order, order. That's enough. I think we can conclude that there is no reason to continue with this cross-examination. Why not? Stick a fork in us, we're done. M Mr. Grosberg? My hemorrhoids never lie. The show is over, Mayor. I knew that boy was guilty the first time I saw him. N no you're wrong. Mr. Red is innocent. No further evidence is required to convince me of this man's guilt. Y your Honor! At this time, I am prepared to render a verdict in this case. Hold it! Hold it. Oh, she's not done! You have something further to add, Miss Faye. Is this what you want, Mr. Wright? Huh? You still haven't told us the truth. The whole truth. If you don't say something now, the judge is going to hand down his verdict. But, but I, I can't. I just can't say it. If I told you what really happened, then I'd b be... It's okay, Mr. Wright. I'm your attorney. You can trust me. M Miss Fay. No matter what it is you have to say, I believe in you and I'll re represent you to the very end. Like a Lady Sedone. Hmm. We've already established the defendant's guilt. There's no further need for him to say anything. Cuff, cuff. Wait a minute. Mr. Wright? I... I'll tell you what really happened. But I've already told you, Mr. Wright. There's no need for further... Cuff. Uh, uh, I, I did it. I admit it, I pushed him. It's my fault. M my f fault that D Doug Swallow is dead. That girl, you shouldn't see her anymore. Hey, it's none of your business. I'm telling you for your sake. If you continue to see her, it's going to be bad news. Y you're lying. Just listen to me. There's something you need to know about that girl. Stop it! D don't talk th about her like that! Oh, he pushed him hella hard! He e honda his ass! He got e honda Wow! Boosh! Damn! Oh, he killed him, shit! Uh, uh, what you just said. Was that the truth? Y yes, I, I was afraid. Afraid that if I told the truth, everyone would think I was the murderer for sure. Well, as things currently stand, we're all absolutely convinced you are. <laughs> but please! Please give me one more chance to explain. This time I swear, I swear I'll tell the whole truth. It'll be okay, won't it, Miss Faye? I... I believe in you, too. <laughs> That's why Phoenix was in Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh, um, th thank you. I still can't believe it. He really did push the victim. Ugh, it feels like my hemorrhoids are doing the Harlem Shake. What kind of hemorrhoids? 
when I push the victim. That P stands for push. He's the push man. That guy. He was talking bad about Dolly. Bam! Push! Holy crap! Talk about one inch push. I lost my temper and gave him a shove. At that moment, I heard some kind of loud noise. A little while after I left, I started to get worried. So I went back. But he... He was just laying there, dead. D dead d d d dead Well, the explanation is really quite simple. When you pushed him, Mr. Swallow flew back and touched the electrical cable. He died from the shock, and that, as they say, is that. Hmm, a simple explanation indeed. At the time of the incident, a little, a, a light rain had been falling. But from the rain, the victim was more easily electrocuted. But, but, when I pushed him, there weren't any electrical cables nearby. If there had been something like that, even I would have noticed it. True, who would stand near that damn thing, right? <laughs> That's true, even a doofus like him couldn't miss that. A doofus. Hmm, Miss Fay. Let me warn you right now that if your cross-examination doesn't yield any new facts, I intend to deliver my verdict without further delay. I will clear on that. Y yes Your Honor. Don't give up, Mia. If he is innocent, there must be some kind of evidence somewhere that will prove it. Now we're about to hit an hour, shoot. But we should be- this should be it, so here we go. When I push the victim... So what kind of- kinds of things did Mr. Swallow say to you? He said all sorts of terrible things about Dolly. He said that she was a bad girl. Ha! <laughs> uh... Hmm... Uh, um... Is that all? Yup! <laughs> oh, Phoenix! That's all it took to murder a man! That's all it took! Now, what would happen if someone called Maya, Maya a bitch? Well, Miss Faye, you heard him yourself. Oh boy, you're not doing yourself any favors here, Mr. Wright. Please don't make this harder for me than it already is. Anyway, uh, after he said that, I just... I just... I lost my temper and gave him a shove! Can you tell me about what happened in a little more detail? That guy, he just said that he wanted to, what he wanted to say to me. And then he put on the jacket he was holding and started to leave. What? That's when! That's when I lost my temper and flew into a furious frenzy. I just gave him a light, gentle shove to the chest. Light, gentle, huh? Light and gentle doesn't knock a man down. And when you did that, there was no severed cable anywhere to be seen. Right! There was nothing like that at all! But is it possible that you merely overlooked it? Uh, well, I guess it's possible. What are you doing? Don't let that guy steamroll over you like a cheap asphalt! I believe what's important here is the moment the push occurred. Let's continue on with the testimony, witness. A loud noise? What would you say that loud noise was, Mr. Reif? I'm not sure, but it was really loud. It was like snap. You know, come to think of it, I wonder what that was. <laughs> Clearly, Your Honor, it was the sound of the victim being electrocuted. Y you're not qualified to decide that. What should I do? I'm treading on some dangerous ground here. Ask for more details. Save just in case. Mr. Wright, that loud noise you heard may be extremely important. So try to remember what it was. Um, how do I put it? It was like a sharp crack. Aha! Uh -huh, could it... Could it have been... Yes? Could it have been... Hurry up and tell us. When I pushed him, he dropped the umbrella he was holding.
He fell right on top of it, and it broke. That was probably the noise I heard. An umbrella, huh? And what? And did that umbrella belong to the victim? Yeah, it was a plastic umbrella. Cheap and frail. Kind of like the owner. Wow! Wow, Phoenix! Wow! Also, it's plastic, which means it cannot conduct electricity. Then again, I wish I had any kind of umbrella. I was totally soaked to the bone. Hmm, Miss Faye? What do you think? Is there something important in that testimony just now? Um, well... This is it, Mia. The new information you've been waiting for. Of course it's important. No, this cheap umbrella is more than important, it's vital. I want to officially have it entered into the testimony. Ha! Ah! A perfectly fitting, flimsy information for a flimsy lawyer. The court agrees to the defense's request. Witness, please add a, the bit about the cheap umbrella to your testimony. After I shoved him, he fell down on top of his cheap umbrella. So Mr. Swallow fell on top of an, his umbrella. And you are certain of this? Yeah, it was right there under him. Actually, if it hadn't been under him, I was planning on borrowing it for myself. What? The umbrella, you mean? Well, yeah. You see, I was wearing this sweater here. Dolly stayed up late for nights at a time knitting it for me. I didn't want the rain to dampen the handmade symbol of her love. Oof! My stomach is not to be used as your personal sucker ball, Mia. Ah! I I'm sorry, sir. So I'm so sorry. Continue on with your testimony, witness. Does she have a thing for Phoenix? Like, what's going on? A little while after I left, I started to get worried. After you shoved the victim, you, did you leave the scene right away? Yes, I did. I admit it. I, I was furious. You left without even checking Mr. Swallow's condition. Well, uh, yeah, but like I said, I got worried about him later. So I went back, but he, he was just laying there, d dead. At that time, did you see anyone else at the scene of the crime? Cough, cough. Cough, cough, cough. Um, nope. Nobody. Jeez, could that stupid cough possibly sound any phonier? Hmm. In that case, it's very hard to believe someone else could have been the murderer. And I not. Unless we can find something that shows his innocence from the testimony, my dear. I'm afraid the judge will make his final decision, with no remorse whatsoever. Y yes sir Right, now I need more info. Info that will help me turn up some contradictions. Why is the umbrella not added? That's supposed to be added. It's in this picture right here. Was it? Why didn't you testify about the umbrella from the very beginning? Come on! If I had mentioned that, I would have been able to counter the prosecution's arguments earlier. But what do you mean by that? Take another look at the crime scene photo. According to Mr. Wright, the victim fell on top of his umbrella. However, if you look closely, the umbrella is nowhere near the victim, actually. It's by the electrical pole. Y you're absolutely right. The conclusion here is obvious. After the defendant left, the victim moved from where he fell. In other words, after he was pushed by the defendant, Mr. Swallow was still alive. No! Oh, this music is awesome. Order, order, order. The victim. He moved? Mr. Payne, the umbrella in this photo, where is it now? But, well, it was collected by the police at the crime scene. I want it presented as evidence immediately. Umbrella added to the court record. But, but the umbrella could have simply been blown there by the wind. He was on top of it. According to testimony, the victim fell on top of the umbrella. 
There's simply no way it could have been blown there by the wind. But I know this matter of the umbrella seems relatively trivial. But as long as the smallest doubt remains, I cannot render final judgment. No! However, I still find it hard to believe that a huge hole has been blown in this prosecution's case by the defendant's testimony. Alright. Reinhardt. Well done, Mia! Uh. <laughs> Mr. Payne, what are you chuckling about? Pardon me, Your Honor. It seems I was expecting too much of a free ride. I was foolish to think I could establish guilt through cross-examination alone. I'm afraid I don't follow what you're saying. Huh? Let me guess, you have another witness. Exactly! And this witness's testimony will be incontrovertible. Well, who is this witness? Dolly. Miss Dahlia Hawthorne! She's how the drugs got in his hand. Dahlia Hawthorne, you don't mean Dolly. I do, Your Honor. The defendant's very own lover is a witness to the whole thing. That's right. She was at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. What? I'm sorry to break the bad news to you, my dear. Hmm. Oh, snap! Bad news? You couldn't be more wrong. Actually, I've been waiting for this. You can't be serious! Mia, what do you mean by that? I think this is a good point for us to stop at. Court will now enter a 20 minute recess. Afterwards, we will listen to the testimony of Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. Time for kickball. Save point. I'm calling it a save point. Okay, that's it. Oh, my throat is in the ringer. That was, uh, yeah, that's over an hour. Okay. So next time, we're going to see Dahlia Hawthorne, and she's the actual killer. So that right there is the game for now. I had fun from watching. That's what's all about, isn't it? Having fun. Thanks for coming by, and see you next time. Woo!